Hey guys, my name is Jijim, and welcome back to some Forza 6. Today we have, well, the car doesn't really matter, but we have a, oh shit, I don't know what year it is. God damn, I didn't check that. But it is a Charger RT. Look at it, it's so damn good looking. It's dropped all the way, big wheels, oh man, that paint too. As you all know, I have switched my wheels on my car from my summer wheels to my winter wheels. I did this because the summer wheels did not have as good of traction as the winter wheels. But that got me thinking. The summer wheels are also much wider than the winter wheels. I mean, not much wider, but the winter wheels are 195s, summer wheels are 220s, okay? What is more important, width or tread? Like, would I have more traction on my summer tires because they're wider? Or would I have more traction on my winter tires because they have better tread? And that's what we're here for. We are going to test this car with three different scenarios. One is both stock tread and stock tire width nothing done with the tires one is drag tire compound but stock tire width the other is the biggest width possible with sport tire compound so let's start with step one which is completely stock everything see what it runs all right let's see how this baby runs with stock tire compound and stock tire width i uh, it has like 600 horsepower by the way wow that's lots of traction holy shit okay now, obviously, I could have gone a little bit less hard on the gas, but that's kind of the purpose of this video, this race, is to find how... Hey, actually, 11.8 is not awful. It's pretty good. There we go. Wow, these gearings are long. As I say, bouncing off the rev limiter. Right. Makes sense. 12.07. Okay, so the first one was a little better. There we go, I think that might have been a good start. Of course, my shifting is rubbish. 11.9, okay, so, uh, the first one was our best, with 11.7, I think that's what it was. So, that's what the car runs with stock wheels completely. 11.7 seconds, that's the time to beat. So now we are going to go ahead and make the tire compound drag tire compound. So, we'll see what that does. We're not going to change the width at all. The width of the tires is still 225s, which is pretty tiny for a muscle car. All right, now let's do those races again. Okay, here we are with drag tire, yeah, drag tire compound. I really hope this works. I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay, so it definitely, definitely tractioned up better than stock, obviously, but we still spun some tires there. Oh, wow, that is so much better, though. 11.3. Noise. All right, try two and I tried to launch that a little bit gentler. -er. I don't think that worked, to be honest. But we'll see what our time says. Eleven point three again. Okay, so you know it was pretty much the same. So obviously this is much better than stock. But the question is, will it beat tire width? There we go. That was a pretty good launch, I'd say. It's funny how. 600 horsepower car in this game it feels slow 11.3 okay 11.32 i think was our best one so this was our best one that's the time to beat now we'll see what width gets us <laughs> jesus christ that kind of sounds weird okay so let's go ahead and put this back down to sport that's what i'm going to do or street my bad i, I meant street I, sh I was saying to myself the first one that is there and then we're also going to do go ahead and put this all the way up to 345s wow those are big that looks nice that's more we're upgrading the tire size by more than 100 millimeters or whatever shit i don't actually i don't know what it's measured in 100 units there we go um you know i'm starting to think that width is going to matter more that's just some guys. That's, that's my that's my final guess. Oh, and here we are. Okay, so yeah, this is a car with street tire compound and 345s in the back. Oh no way! That was much worse than the drag tire compound. That is for sure. Maybe not much worse, but it was only worse. Yeah, 11.4. <laughs> there you guys go. We we might be able to beat the other time, but uh, it was definitely worse. Just barely, though. Just barely. That's kind of interesting. 
Wow, I, I really thought it was going to be the other way, you know? Okay, that was an interesting start. No tire spin, wheel spin, or whatever, but it wasn't very fast. Yeah, no. 11.6. No bueno. You know, I haven't done a first person yet. That, that was a pretty good start. We'll see what that gets us. Come on. 11.4. You know what, guys? I think that, I think that solves it. And with that, guys, we have determined that it is more important to have good tire compound than wide mm -hmm. tires. It was a very, very close competition. The uh, drag tires with stock tire width gave us a time of 11.3 seconds, whereas street tires with 345s in the back, which is what we're on right now. Look at those. I mean, they're freaking ginormous. But that only gave us 11.4, so it's only 0.1 of a second slower, but it is slower. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for anything, builds, uh, science things like this, or anything like that, leave them down in the comment sections below. I'd also like to go ahead and say thank you guys for 1,500 subscribers. What? That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. It really means the world to me. And I'll see you next time.